Morgan. Look at what I found in my basement. Okay, so this is a video where I wanted to show you all this um, so I have the old Sid Meier's Civilization 3 Game of the Year edition, special features included, like the box that it came in. So this is, this is actually like my dad's, um, but I, like, I play Sid Meier's Civilization 3. Um, he, I think, it, uh, he lent me, or like, I started using like the disc version for fun when I was younger, and... Uh, like we have like I have it on Steam like I have a copy of the complete edition on Steam But this is like the old game of the year edition So this doesn't have like the play the world expansion or the conquests Expansion like this is just plain old vanilla Civ, which is like really exciting and cool to like find to like find and like it definitely if I remember right there's like some I guess like bug or exploit where if you did ring city placement like you put your cities like the same distance apart in like the old version um it like it gave you less corruption whereas I think that got fixed in like the steam version of the game so oh my gosh this has this is so like this is in pretty good condition for it being like the box is still like it's not falling apart. This is a better condition than like some of the board games that like me and my sister would play with as kids. Um, okay, so here is the instruction manual. So this originally I think came with like an old, like this came with a, a instruction manual. And from what I've, like if I remember right, there might be some things in here that like might not actually be accurate to the current version of the game. Like, um, I think there's like a chart in here that shows uh like what civilization like what civilizations are like what traits and I think those ended up some of those might have gotten changed in like the complete edition but hopefully this is accurate to the uh, to the original game. Um, this would be so much fun to just look through sometime and like just look at. And then here is the Oh my gosh, this is the actual like this is the CD, is this a CD ROM? What do they, what do they used to call these? I was never the tech, like the tech savviest individual. Um, oh my gosh, on the back it says civ3. www.civ3.com and it says it works for like Windows 95, 98, ME, whatever that means, 2000 XP. And it's like, nowadays, what are we up to? Like Windows 10, Windows like, is there an 11 now? Like seriously, this is, like, Windows 98 for, was from when I was, like, a, a baby <laughs> and or, like, maybe not even born. Yeah, um, the, uh, like, some of these, like, I'm not sure, like, what air, like, what date exactly it came out. But, like, these computers were computers that were used when I was, like, very, very young. <laughs> so, like, this is, like, forever ago. This is, like, ancient history to me. <laughs> Um, yeah, and it also has, like, also available Civilization Play the World, so this was probably, like, was this from before, like, the complete edition even came out? Oh my gosh, and I love how it has, like, it has Caesar here, it's got Elizabeth here, it's got Lincoln here, and it's got Gandhi, or Gandhi, oh my gosh, and then, <laughs> he is so... I, I don't think, I don't think Civ 3 has, has the nuclear Gandhi, like, thing. I think that, if I remember right, that was from, like, Civ 1. Um, <laughs> but Gandhi is, like, famous in the Civ 3 universe because of nuclear Gandhi. Oh my gosh, and it says copyright 2001 Infogr Infogrames Interactive Inc. All rights reserved. This is from, like, 2001. That is forever. That is, like, literally forever ago. Oh, my gosh. And I'm gonna, like, try and open... Like, I don't want to get, like, dust on this. Oh! And then it opens, and this is the... Oh, it has two discs in it, though. And I'm not entirely sure what the second disc is for. Oh, it's a bonus CD. I, I want to know what the bonus CD does. Like, I, I don't remember what it does, but it came with, like, it, it's it's in the packaging with with this, so the bonus CD must do something, or... I don't, like, something that's, like, 
confusing to me is I don't entirely like remember like what the difference between like CDs and DVDs are all the time because it's like they're the same shape. Um, and like sometimes like I, with these old technology stuff, I'm not always 100% sure which is which. Ooh, this is interesting because, okay, I opened to page 90, um, missiles, and this was something that is like, so there's a bug in multiplayer sieve where if you have like a bunch of human players, like, like things that work off of bombard sometimes like work way better than they normally would. So I'm wondering what it's like how missiles are actually supposed to work in this game. And it says, if a city is the target of a normal cruise missile attack, the city suffers a bombard attack. A nuclear missile attack destroys half the population, regardless of nationality. Oh, so that's interesting. So, like, if you're attacking a city that, like, you had, was previously, like, yours or something, like, that would be killing off half, like, your own citizens, too, which I guess that's some scary realism there. <laughs> um... Military units have a 50% chance of surviving a nuclear attack. Oh, so it's, so that's the actual percentage then. In addition to the loss of units, cities and improvements, all land terrain squares adjacent to this impact be square become polluted. Which, yeah, that's actually, like, the pollution is, like, such, like, it's such a pain because you have to, like, get all your workers over there to clean it up. And if you're in single player, it's, like, usually... Like, by the modern era, I'll probably have railroads, so that isn't a big deal. But if I get, like, nuked and, like, multiplayer feud, um, that can be, <laughs> that can be a pain because it's, like, that's a great opportunity for someone else to just, like, paradrop some, uh, modern paratroopers on me and then take the city while it's, like, super weak. <sighs> As you might expect, all missile units are one-shot attackers. They're always destroyed as part of the process of attacking. Note that missiles are considered air units and function identically to planes with regard to movement. Okay, that may- like, that's something that I wonder when it says, like, that they're air units. Like, does this mean that they're affected by, like, would these be affected by mobile SAMs and flags? <laughs> so, like, it's this instruction manual is really cool because it has, like, details that, like, like, I guess leave me with more questions, but also help, I think, to explain some of the things that it's, like, aren't always 100% clear just from, like, reading the Civilopedia. So I'm really happy that I found this old instruction manual. This is so cool. This is so much fun. And I'm going to look... At, like this box a little bit more um oh it says the greatest computer strategy game of all time according to time magazine which is like this is such a fun strategy game like y'all said Meyer civilization 3 is so much fun and there is literally there is like a complete edition um on steam so it's still like accessible to play in the modern era <laughs> Um, ooh, and, like, this, when, like, when you open, like, this, it shows, like, this really cool part. It says, if it were your world, what would it be? Sid Meier's Civilization Three: A Legendary Experience. And then it has, like, all these, like, people saying good things about it. Oh my gosh, it's been, like, a long time since I've, like, gone into a store and looked for, like, the physical copy of a game. <laughs> So I, I'm used to just like scrolling on Steam and seeing like the reviews that way. Um, oh, negotiate or create alliances with distinguished world leaders. And it's really cool too because they have, in this game they have like the, like the world leaders, like they, like the art style is a little bit weird because this is such an old game, but like they try to make like, um, Joan of Arc, um, Shaka of the Zulu, like, is that Mao? It might be Mao. Um, Elizabeth Gandhi, um, uh, Cleopatra, Catherine the Great, um, I think, I can't remember if that's, which of the Caesars that is. Then there's Alexander the Great, and, uh, Lincoln of America, and Xerxes, and Tokugawa. Like, they have, like, world leaders from, like, like lots of different civilizations throughout time and history and around the globe which is like really like i really like that like the the inclusion like they're not just choosing like one specific continent and time frame to focus on like it shows like a really like it expand like it shows like a range or of like 
or an expanse of different times and places and cultures, which I think really adds to the immersion of the gameplay because this isn't just a, like, if you play, like, a long-term, like, single-player Civ where you're trying to get, like, a space race victory or something, like, you're starting off in, like, the ancient era and then go all the way to the present. So I love how they have, like, civilizations from like different like time frames i feel like that really adds to like the immersion within the game um <laughs> and it says okay conquer vast territories with powerful armies and a variety of fighting methods oh so yeah it's it's true like there are multiple like i love how this game has like multiple win conditions like you can like you can do like um, I think a method where you just have to, like, destroy all the other civilizations to win, but you could also do, like, a space race where you attack, and then, like, you get all the way to the modern era, you build stuff, and you launch a spaceship. Or this one, Civ 3, I think is the one where they introduce the cultural victory, which is one where you build, like, great wonders and, like, buildings in your cities to try and get border expands, and you just, you can take over the world peacefully and win without having to, like, fight other people. Which, um, I think you technically, typically still need to have military because if you don't, then the AI likes to attack, but, <laughs> um, uh, I, I would know this because I'm pretty sure I've lost games on Chieftain before, which is the easiest difficulty level, um, but I've, I've improved since I was, like, <laughs> nine? <laughs> nine or ten? <laughs> um... Easy to use in-game technology offers many pathways to victory for limitless replayability. And I would agree, this game has so much replayability. Um, like literally it's how many years since this came out and there are still people who play this game. Um, I don't think it's as famous or as like well known as some of the more, like I think more people play some of the newer Civ games, but like this still has people playing it after like 20 years. Um, build an empire and culture that is the envy of other civilizations. Oh, and then, oh my gosh, I love it. Like, if I remember correctly, like, the science advisor, which is this guy right here with, like, the, like, the laurel wreath around his head, I think that is based off of the actual Sid Meier. Like, actually based off of, like, the creator of the Civ series, which I think is such a cool Easter egg. And Sid Meier, Hall of Fame game designer... Civilization 3 features all the elements that have made his game made his game so incredibly addicted and loved. And I love this. Like this game has like so many like <laughs> this has so many like such fun like it's so fun and I feel like this game has like and and Civ in general has like influenced like modern day gaming. Um but yeah, this, I thought this was really cool to just, like, look at, like, the packaging this game came in, because we still had, like, we still had this in the basement, and I, like, act, like, we accidentally found this again when I was looking for a pair of shoes. Um, so yeah, I am super excited, and, like, they, like, it came with an instruction manual, but I also, like, I want to respect the fact that somebody else is the copyright holder, and so I'm not gonna just go through and, like, read everything in here. I felt like that would like th that just doesn't sound like fair use quite <laughs> to me so I'm sorry I hope that you are able to like get a hold of your own like copy of this book because this is so much fun to read through and oh my gosh I I might like I might check this out sometime but I think I I don't know if my uh if the computer that I usually use has one of the things required to read one of these or if I have to go find one of the thingies to read one of these um so yeah and thank you thank you for looking at what i found in the basement with me and i really really hope like you found this fun and i love sid Meier's civilization 3 i think it is such a fun like computer game and i really hope that you check it out sometime so yeah thank you and have a great day